Oh, hi, Mommy. We're back. Finally, I can dump her off on you. I don't need to deal with her anymore. No, Mommy, you don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. If Jovi wasn't there, Jovi bets he'd be crying by now saying he can't get home. Right, Big Brother? Hi. Just take her, please. <laughs> Besides, the Don must be tired of waiting for you. Yeah, she li she loves that old man playing hide-and-seek. And, like, it's so bad that that guy in the distance is, like, glaring at us into our souls at just, like, how much of a terrible person she is. She leaves him in the middle of a game of hide-and-seek and just goes off to some faraway place. You're welcome, though. Okay, Professor Crane wants to see us, so let's head inside. Now, I want to draw special attention to a little detail. There is nobody sitting at that desk on the inside of the, uh, lab. We go inside, though, and there's suddenly somebody there who has been sleeping for some time. It's a case of the Phantom Secretary. Boo! Huh? Uh, here! Here are the Pokemon HQ! Let me take a great variety of research on Pokemon from the Rissi! Okay, systems and paddling! Uh, oh, it's you, Michael. You scared me out of my wits. Separate thing and not just the battle memo. That's it, Michael. It's spot on. From here on out, it'll be easier to show you just with practice rather than trying to describe it. Let's go upstairs to the battle to the battle sim system room. Try saying that five times fast. Whoops, how silly of me. I almost forgot to give you these. In order to use the dang machine, you'll need at least one Pokeball, so you give me these. You gave me five Pokeballs. Man, you are an overachiever. And you know, I like it best when people are overachievers at giving me stuff. Those are the best kinds of overachievers. So they import them from another region because the Aura region does not have Pokeballs commonly. And aye, aye! That sounds weird. I, I promise to not do that again. I'm so sorry. Well, what's going on? Who are you people? Uh, well, that was enough to wake up this phantom secretary. It's terrible, Michael. Some strange men came in barking and took off with the director. He was barely off screen when he got taken away. He was heading up to the battle sim room. Jeez. So we go outside and... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to pick apart every little thing, but that just looks so overly dramatic how they're just laying around outside. <laughs> Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? <laughs> I'm taking you to your new lab, Professor. Wait, my new lab? Move it, we don't have any time. If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car. You people, what are you? What does this guy have to say? Okay, interesting. Uh, what about this guy? Whoa, he's fainted. I don't know if he's actually saying that, or... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this Pineco seems out of commission as well. Alright, let's go do hero stuff, even though we're ten years old. What is it? Ha! What is it, punk? You're gonna try to play hero and stop us? I don't show mercy to anyone, not even kids. Here we go! First real serious battle not against Chopin, Spy Naps. Spy's napping on the job? Man, he must be a bad spy, I'll say that much. Teddy Ursa! Another normal type, okay. Go Eevee! Be flashy! Use your tackle attack and do a bunch of flippity flips in throughout the air to do it. And, ooh, what do we got? Michael, the Aura Reader's responding! That's a Shadow Pokemon! Hurry, Michael! Hurry! Throw a Pokeball at it! But aren't we supposed to weaken Pokemon ahead of time? Nope, he won't let us. Michael, that's not it. Hurry up and throw a Pokeball. Normally, I would battle these Pokemon and weaken them while um, I am going over these Pokemon stats-wise, but Professor Crane doesn't want me to do that, so... Now that all that is over, we're going to throw a Pokeball, which really is not a smart move, because Teddy Ursa has a pretty low catch rate, but hey, in this situation, I don't think he can possibly fail this. Let's do it! It looks so cool, like how a hand pops out and grabs it. Ah, oh, that is awesome. All right, Teddy Ursa. One, two, three... You're ours! Man, oh, what do you say? We don't waste any more time? We'll head to Gassian Port, a lively seaport active with active trade. Loitering sailors are a common sight. Alright, sounds like a fun place. We got Jovi on the back of our scooter. Let's go! Wow! Wouldn't have expected to see a place like this in Ore five years ago, would you? They really cleaned up their act. Everything's somewhat bright and colorful and sunny. It's not nearly as dark and gritty. I mean, you had Fenac City in Ore five years ago, but nothing like this. Anyway, Jovi is running off without us to the parts shop, and oh, not so close. Oh, God, that was one hell of a close-up. I thought Ruby looked creepy. Ouchies, Jovi fell down. Hey, now, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry, Jovi is sorry. It wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done. You've messed up the happen and look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, most happening guy around. Yeah, I'd probably think I look cool like that if I had no pupils in my eyes as well. Ha! Huh. And who do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. 
So we don't get to battle this guy whatsoever. We just kind of get to sit around and watch while this badass takes on this wannabe badass. Take your pick as to which one is which. This guy has an Alakazam, level 44. Uh, sorry, Zook, I don't think you stand a chance. But it's a shame because I like Zangoose. I would have really liked to have been able to snag it, but alas, wasn't meant to be. It was taken out for us. Can't throw a Pokeball while it's weakened or anything like that. Can't do that whatsoever. That's it. Awkward than that. It was just kind of random and out of nowhere. And we're getting interrupted once again. Oh my god! Oh man, somebody who knows Jovi. Can I pawn her off on you? Like, can you guys just spend the day together so I don't have to worry about her? Really? I mean, you know her. You're clearly excited to see her. Can you just take her from me, please? I'll pay you to take her. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so mean-spirited about this, though, but it just, like, I don't like Jovi. I'm sorry. And yet, man, this guy is dressed like a clown. I, I know that, like, people in Ori had, like, gigantic shoes five years ago, though, but man, look at this guy. Yeah, the part shop is ours, huh? Machine part, where's Grandpa? He's gone up to Dr. Kamiko's. Ah, my, my grandpa gets excited over some medical thing. He's off like a shot. Never mind the shopper's grandson, me. I'll find that machine part you need. Can I get you to come by our shop? All right, that's all fine and good. Uh, man, Grandpa should be so lucky to have Karen grandson like me looking after him. Oh, God. What do you got to say, you hipster? Glad the bridge has been fixed. If they're stuck, no ship can get in or out of the harbor. What? Okay. He's worried about ships getting in and out of the harbor? What about the poor soul living in that house when this is broken down? Are they just stranded there, possibly starving to death while this is going on? I mean, you could say that they could jump though, but do you see any coast where they could climb up? These are all just solid stone walls. They wouldn't be able to save themselves. And there's that's not even the only house that's out there in the water. Like, those people have to really say about Letty, but now I'd like to shift attention back to my Teddy Ursa. From lowering my heart gauge, I was able to regain one of my moves that was in its moveset, Lick. This is a ghost-type move that has a chance of paralysis, which makes it really good for helping for catching Pokemon early on. Now, I want to draw special attention to Lick because the attack animation for a Lick is like the funniest thing you will see all week. So we'll do Tail Whip right off the bat, as Ghost is a physical type in this game. It's going to use Shadow Shed, but it doesn't work. Okay, here we go. Lick. Watch this. <laughs> I love that. Just that gigantic tongue sticks out of its mouth. Just... Tongue is like bigger than its head, and it like it matches up perfectly with its mouth color. Like it just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I find it really freaking funny. It's just I can't get enough of that. It just makes me laugh. Just that lick animation, like it never fails to amuse me. It's just this little tiny teddy bear it just smiles. Then, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think Letty Buzz weakened enough. I think we can actually proper catch it now. Shadow Shed, but it failed. Okay. Uh this. Uh, still got four Pokeballs. Not bad. I think it's weak enough. Paralyzed as well. That'll make it easier to catch. I'll use one more lick just in case it doesn't catch, but we should be fine. Here we go. First real capture of the game that we can fail, and it's against a Lettypo, which is one of the easiest Pokemon to catch. How will I fare? One, two, three. Okay. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe I won't be here like for half an hour catching some of these Pokemon. I'm reminded of a certain really weak Pokemon that I said was pathetic in the last game, and I was there for like 20 minutes trying to catch it. Ugh. Anyway, Ladybug joins our party.